Folks, this is where you know back with another lesson and a great song today from uh, Coldplay, who used to be this great sort of indie guitar band, you know, back in the day. Uh, you know, that's when Coldplay for me were at the best. Probably the, the first four albums, I think, uh, you know, Coldplay were up there with one of my favourite guitar bands. And this is their big anthem, still one of their best hits. This is Yellow. And this is sort of a nice, easy capoed up way that you can play to. It works really well if you want to sing it at a show or you know, sing it in front of family or, you know, busking or whatever. I think this is a great sort of campfire version, if you like. So we'll, we'll get on to that in a minute. Uh, thanks for your continued support. Uh, thanks everyone who's subscribed. If you are subscribed and you haven't done already, please hit that little notification bell that's somewhere down there and you get notified every time I post a video up and you can keep up to date. Uh, the patron thing, so if you want the chords, the lyrics and the strumming pattern to this, as well as everything I've done probably over the past 18 months since I set the patron thing up, and there's also stuff to coincide with the technique lessons there, like the scales and the blue stuff that I do, and there is stuff that isn't currently up on YouTube, so if you want to go and check that out, there's a link to that in the description, also a link in the comments, and you just sign up for as little as a couple of quid a month or however much you can afford, and it's very much appreciated. Uh, another way that you could help me out if you want to, please go over and give me a like on social media. So I'm Wayne Argotel on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and now also TikTok, as you always say. I'm trying to get down with the kids. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning, but as you can see, for this version, you're going to want the capo up on the fourth fret. Now, I must admit, I struggle singing it a little bit in this key, really on my threshold. So when I sing it live, I tend to have the capo on the third fret, or you know, you can the beauty of the capo, you can play it without a capo, you know, whatever suits your voice. Um, but for the purpose of the song, this is in key with the song, obviously I've got the capo on the fourth fret. Just while we're talking about capos, I'd like to thank the G7 Capo Company for sending me this custom capo of my choice. It's a gold one, very bling. I don't know if you can see that's got my name sort of inscribed on the top. Uh, now I'd just like to give these guys a plug. I've had, I've got another capo I've used for the best part of 15 years. I use it live a lot. The great, reliable, durable capos. You know, it's the other one I've got hasn't lost its grip. It's still as strong as ever. They're really easy to use. They sort of clip on and off. And with Christmas coming up, I think you know, a little plug for them. It would make the ideal Christmas present. So I'm going to put a link to that in my description if you want to go and check those out. G7 capos. Okay, so the intro to this song, we're going to do a G chord, but we're not doing a, you know, you can do it just a normal G, you know, the four finger G, the standard three finger G, but the way that I do it, I do it with my second, third, little pinky on the third fret on the top E string relative to the capo. And what that enables me to do, it leaves me first finger free for putting on and off the first fret on the B string and doing what we call a G sus four chord, so you get this lovely sort of embellishment. So if you hear that around the intro, OK, 
Okay, so that goes around twice, uh, and then the chords to the verse are going to be a G, a D, a C major 7, so if you're not familiar with that chord, just take your regular C chord and take the first finger off, and then we go back to a G. Okay, and that's going to be all your verse. So I'll just sing you the first part of the verse so you can see how that sort of gels together with the words. So we got Look at the stars, look how they shine for you. And everything that you do. You little all yellow. I came along, I wrote a song. Okay, so you get the idea that's going to be uh, your verse, that same chords running all the way through. When we get to the chorus, uh, the chords are going to be the C major 7, an E minor 7, you can get away with just doing a standard E minor, but I do an E minor 7, basically E minor shape, I'm going to put you my third finger on the third fret on the B string relative to the capo, and then we're going to go to a D. So we got... obviously verse 2, uh, chorus 2, a uh, little instrumental part that's just going around the verse chords and the verse chords carry on into the end and the only other different part you need is literally the last two lines so that's going to be a G, a D minus 7 and the way that I do that I tend to bar the top E and the B string and I put my second finger on the second fret on the G and I'm going to finish on the C major 7 on a single strum. So I'll just play that outro out so you can see how that gels together. So we got Look at the stars, look how they shine for you. D minor 7. And all the things that you do. And a single strum there on the C major 7 at the end. And that, like I say, is pretty much the meat and potatoes of the song. So uh, a good strumming pattern that I tend to use through this, I do mix it up a little bit, but one that would work really well is like a bit of a 16th note strum. So it would go down, down, or down, or down, down, down. That's a down, down, or down, or down, down, down. So if you hear that around the chords, we get. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you all dug that. I absolutely love this song. You know, one of Coldplay's finest, and uh, it's just a shame that they become this big, um, you know, big corporate band, really big in America. They do these huge stadium tours, and uh, you know, if I was in a band, I'd want that more than anything. Obviously, that brings in the money, but. I think Coldplay, I'm sure a lot of people will agree with me that are into the guitar, you know, the first four albums were, were really immense, They're absolutely, uh, you know, Johnny Buckland is, uh, is a great guitarist and I just think that he doesn't get to play enough guitar on a lot of the new stuff, they're very sort of poppy now and uh, like I say, a really big corporate band, so uh, this is one of my favourite songs about that, never fails to get, you know, everybody singing at gigs and things like that, so we're... Uh, like I say, this is a good sort of campfire version, uh, a good one to get down 
by using the capo so I uh, hope you all enjoyed that if you got any requests for any other Coldplay songs uh, I have done one or two of the older ones like I said the ones that I'm a big fan of or it doesn't have to be Coldplay anything 50s to modern day that's going to work well on an acoustic guitar within reason or an electric guitar I do do an eye full of electric lessons every now and again so the easiest way to put your comment in is obviously either below the video or if you want to find me a personal message over over those uh, social media platforms I suggest at the start of the video I do always reply to messages I just always point out that I do get quite a lot and I do have to hemp at them a little bit but don't let that put you off please do get your messages coming and um, your requests because uh, that's what keeps this channel going and it's very much appreciated another thing that's very much appreciated I'll quickly mention it again thanks everyone who subscribed if you are subscribed through where you could help me out is hitting that little notification bell somewhere down there so you get notified every time I post a video up and you can keep up to date uh, the patron thing sorry to keep banging on about it if you do want to print off the chords the lyrics and the strumming pattern to this not only this pretty much everything I've done over the past 18 months uh, there's a link to that in the description also a link in the comments if you don't want to do that and you want to show some appreciation make a small donation perhaps uh, I've got this new feature which is like a little thanks button that's under the video there you can click on that and make it you know just a small donation or however much you want to donate it's all very much appreciated uh, another way that you could help me out word of mouth is a powerful thing so if you dig what I do please like and share my videos tell your friends tell your work colleagues anyone you know plays a guitar please point them in my direction I really appreciate that so that just leaves me to say have a great morning day night whenever it is you're watching and I'll catch you all for last very soon take care